to this lesson. In this lesson, we are looking at BC Mathematics Paper 1. And uh, we'll be doing this based on topics. So we have selected the topics that is set to the BEC Paper 1. And we have gone through all the questions that is set. Most of them have been picked from the past questions. And we have over 150 questions we are going to solve. So after student uh, learning this set of questions, they'll be ready to write a BEC. And they can rewind this, repeat this over and over. And it has been prepared for everybody. Those who want to excel and those who want to learn and get the best grade so far. So we are starting with set. So we are starting with set. So under set, we have question one. So set Q, we have these numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine, 10, 11, 13, 15. And set T, one, two, three, five, six, seven, 10, 11, 12. We are to find a Q union T. So union means we are combining the two sets. So if you look at the answers, it's answer D, which is the correct, because answer D consists of all the members here, but note that you shouldn't repeat the numbers. So you see that one is here, one, two is there, two, three, that. So what you should understand is that when they ask you to find union, it is combining all the members in the set given. All members in the set given. That is what you combined. Good. Now, we are going to question two. Question two is saying that if A is set two, six, eight, and B is set four, six, eight, ten, which of the following statement is true? Which of the following statement is true? So with the A, they are saying that A is what? A is subset of B. A is subset of B. B is A intersection B is 2, 6, 8. So let's look at them. Can we say that A is subset of B? So 2 is here. There's no 2, so it's not true. Subset means all members of A should be in B. If all members of A are in B, then A is a subset of B. Now that all members of what A are not in B, we can say it's a subset. Then we come to B, they are saying that A intersection B is 2, 6, 8. Let's see. They are saying that members that are in A at the same time B are 2, 6, 8. Let's see. So 2 is here, 2 is not there. So we can say this is also not true. So intersection means members that are in both set, the common member, the one here at the same time here, because 2 is here, but 2 is not there. So we cannot conclude on this. A union B. So union means we are writing all members in the set. So let's see. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it's true. So this is true. So the answer is C. This is a true statement. A union B is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Then we go to question 3. The same set. Which of the following is a finite set? Finite set. This is A. So A is 2, 4, 6, 8, dot, dot, dot. Then we have another set. 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, dot, dot. Then C, we have dot, 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 2, 3, 4, 5. Then D is 3, 6, 9, 12. So let's see. Finite. Finite set is a set 
with the last member noon. An infinite set is a set with last member unknown. So let's look at this set. This one, we don't know the last member. This point means that we don't know the last member. This one to the same, we don't know the last member. And this one, we don't know the beginning member. So because of that, we conclude that D is the set that we can conclude. So D is the answer. So let's all so what we need to also notice that the final set it should have an ending number but in finance should not have a, a end number that's why we got that then we are on question four given that so question four we said given that set m which is a b c find the number of subsets of m so number of sub subset of a set is given by two raised to power n where the n is the number of elements in a set or members in a particular set in this case we have one two three so the number of subsets will be 2 raised to the power 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, and our answer is, is 8. Let's demonstrate this. We have set M equal to A, B, C. So in case of section B, when it comes for you to find subset, this is what you do. So what you do is that we are forming set from this three member set. So A can be one set, B another set, C is a set. Then we have A, B, C is a set. We have A, B is another set. We have A, C is another set. We have B, C is another set. Then we have empty set. Then we have uh, so let's count them one two three four five six seven eight so you see we have gotten eight sets that is why it is eight so note that when we are asked to find the number of subset is two raised to power n and the n is the members or the number of items in the set element in the set so just count them if it is 4, 2 raised to power 4, if it is 3, three uh, 2 raised to power 3, and just solve it. Question 5. If P is equal to 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, and Q is 1, 2, 3, 4, we have to find P intersection Q. So P intersection Q is the members that we can find in p at the same time q so you can see that two is here two is there uh we have three there three here we have four here four here so the answer will be two three four two three four so it's a two three four is the answer then you shade it then let's go to question six list the members of the set q equal to prime factors of 30 so let's find the factors of 30. So 1, uh, 2, 3, 5, 6 is a factor of 30. Then we have uh, 10, we have 15, then we have uh, 30. So when we say a factor, it's any number that can divide 30 without a remainder. So 1 can divide 30. 2 can divide 30, 3 can divide 30, 5 can do that, 6 can go, 10 can go, 15 can go, then 30 can go. So within these sets, we have to pick prime factors, prime members, or prime numbers. And a prime number is a number with only two factors. So the 2 is having only two factors, 1 and 2. 3 is only two factors 1 and 3 then we come again which one 5 
is a prime member because it's one and five so five is part apart from that that is all so two three five so let's come here two three five is the answer here then it should so know that prime number a number with only two factors one and the number itself so a factor is a number that can give another number without a remainder that is the meaning of factor good so let's get to question let's get to question seven question seven given that set p is m n o p find the number of subsets of p so the same thing like what we did is 2 raised power n and how many members 1 2 3 4 so it's 2 raised power 4 which is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 let's start 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is what 8 and 8 times 2 is what 16 so 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 so here is the answer which is 16 let me shade so then we go to question 8 if m is multiples of 4 between 10 and 25 so let's list them multiples of 4 with multiples of 4 between 4 and uh, between 10 and 20 so we start from 12 12 then we have 16 20 24 then even numbers between 11 and 23 so we have 12 14 16 18 20 22 then we are asked to find m union n m union n so union we are combining the members so we have 12 14 16 then we come to 18 20 22 24 so d is the answer so just list the members and apply what they want you to do you get the answer then we go to question 9 if set n is a subset of m then if set n set n is a subset of m so it means that n is part of m n is part of m n is part of m so this means that set m and n have the same member this is no sum of members of n can be found no no member of n is in set no d is the answer all members of n are in m it means they are members of m so that is the meaning of subset so a set is a subset if all members of that set belongs to another set good that is the meaning of subset let's go on okay so let's continue with our questions so we are on question 10 we have a venn diagram and uh, the m represents mass e represents english language so what we need to do is to follow the venn diagram and answer our questions so question 10 how many people offer mathematics so the numbers in mathematics circle so this is mathematics circle so it is 18 and 17 so to be 18 plus 18 and 7 18 plus 7 which will give us 25 so you just come here and select your mark how many people offer only one subject so only one subject is only mass this portion and only english which is this portion 
So we add a 2, which is 18 plus 3, which will give us 21. And this is the answer, 21. So let me explain the uh, two sets Venn diagram a, a bit. So if you have your yeah, set, this and that. If you put here both subjects here, this, let's say this is mass and this is English. This portion is only mathematics. It's also called mass but not English. This side is also called mass but not English. This portion is English only. It is also English but not mass. So to get this portion, it is mass minus both. To get this portion, it is English minus both. You get it. That is how we do it. So we are now moving on to numbers. We are done with sets. So I hope when you practice this, you meet some of them in the BEC for you to get a higher score. Let's go to numbers. So let's continue with numbers. So numbers, we are starting with question 12. So we have to simplify 12 minus 7 minus minus 5. So let's do the bracket first. So we get 12 minus 7 plus 5. So please make use of board mass. Board mass, bracket of division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. So addition first. So it will be 12 minus minus uh, 7. Or you can, yeah, because it's addition, subtraction, you can do it together. Mm, you can do it together. So 12 minus 7 will give us, um, uh, 12 minus 7 will give us 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. So always, because of board mass, we deal with the one with bracket first. That's why negative and negative head on will tend to be positive. So it will be 12 minus 7 plus 5. Then 12 minus 7 will give us 5. Plus 5 will be 10. And share your answer. Then we are going to question 13. We are to express 72 as a product of prime factors so let's start 72 here so 2 times what to give us 72 36 2 times what to give us 36 18 2 times what to give us 18 9 so now we cannot use 2 again let's go to 3 3 times 3 will give us 9 so now let's write the 2s how many 2s 1 2 3 how many 3s one two so let's go to the answer two raised by three times three raised by two very good so is the d is the d is the d so that is how we do it the reason why we use the two is two is the first prime number and that first prime number will be able to what uh, multiply by a particular number to get 72 that's why we do that then we come to the let's continue to question 14 question 14 okay so question 14 we have to find the smallest number which is divisible by 16 and 20. what this means is that we have to find the scm of 16 and 20 and uh, as you know is 80. we can list the multiples of 16 multiples of 20 and the one which is common so 16 another 16 will be 32 48 another 16 will give us uh,
So when we are finding the SCM of 16 and 20, what we can do is to first list the multiples of 16. So 16 then times 2 is 32 times 3 48 4 is 64 5 is 80 then 21 is 22 is 40 3 is 60 then the of uh, we have 5 is um, we have 4 is 80 so you see the common member is the 80 so the smallest number which can be divided by 16 and 20 is 80 then you check your answer so let's move on to so question 15 a boy scores 17 over 25 in a french test express his score as a percentage so if you express something as a percentage to be 17 over 25 times 100 so 25 can see here 1, can see here 4. So it will be 17 times 4. 17 times 4. So 17 times 4 will give us 68%. Then that is your answer. 16. Arrange the following fractions in ascending order of magnitude. Ascending. So ascending means lowest to highest and descending is highest to lowest so from the lowest to the highest so the easiest way is to find SEM or use percentage yeah, use percentage so 2 over 5 times 100 so 5 here 1 5 cancel here 20 so you get uh, 20 times 2 is 40 percent then we come to 5 over 12 times 100. So what you do is that let's use 4. 4 here, 3. 4 here, 25. So you get 25 times 5 over 3. 25 times 5 is 1, 2, 5 over 3. So if you do long division for this, let's do it. So 3. 1, 2, 5. So 3 goes to 12 to be 4. 4 times 3 uh, is 12. So let's subtract 0. Let's bring the 5. Uh, 3 goes to 5. It will be 1. 1 times this is 3. Then you subtract 2. Add 0 to be 0. 0.6. So this 1 will give us uh, 5 over 12 will give us 41.6 percent then we come to 3 over 4 3 over 4 times 100 4 here 1 4 here 25 so we get 75 percent so which one is the least is 2 over 5 so 2 over 5 the next list is 5 over 12 and this so the answer is b we can also use uh, LCM, so we have uh, 2 over 5, 5 over 12, 3 over 4. So LCM will be 60. 5 go to 60 will be 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 goes to 60 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Then 4 goes to 60 to be 15. 15 times 3 is 45. So from the lowest, the least to the highest is 2 over 5, 12 over 12, 3 over 4. So you see this one also gives us the same answer. So it's either use uh, SCM or percentages to do your calculation to still give you the same thing then let's go to question 17 question 17 given that 3.14 times 18 
times 17.5 is equal to 3.14 times 3p times 17.5 so you can see that this question just compare 3.4 is here 3.4 is here so 3.4 is here 3.4 is here so you can see that 17.5 is here 17.5 is here so remaining the 18 so you compare 3p to 18 so to 18 is equal to 3p then we divide both sides by 3 so our p will give us 6 so the answer is 6.0 we don't need to solve this then we go to question 18 we have been given w is equal to 12 x is 5 y is 6 z is 4 then we have to find uh, the value of w x minus y z we are just doing substitution where we see w we put 12 where we see x we put 5 where we see y we put 6 then z we put 4 let's put them there so it will be 12 then x is 5 times 5 minus y which is 6 times z which is 4 so 12 times 5 is 60 minus 6 times 4 is 24 so 60 minus 24 then you get your answer so the answer is uh, 36 is the answer 36 is the answer good so let's continue okay let's continue from question 19 so question 19 we are asked to find uh, the next two terms in a sequence so we have 11 7 3 negative 1 so you see that this has been the difference is what 4 it has reduced by 4 this one has been reduced by 4 so here will be negative 5 negative 9 so that is the answer question 20 we have to find the missing number in the sequence below 11 16 22 29 so you can see that this one is uh, a difference of 5 5 has been added to this to get 16 then 6 has been added to this to get 22 then 7 was added to 22 to get 29 then 8 will be added to 29 to get 37 so here is 37 so when we get a sequence you have to look at the pattern how they get the preceding numbers then you continue to that to be able to get what what you, you have been given to, to what to solve let's move on to question 21 
Tiêu luôn Ok, let's continue So We have question 24 We are to find uh, The value of N In this whole expression We have 25.003 So you can see that 20 is 2 times 10 5 is 5 times 1 so we are left with 0 0.003 so what number can you multiply by 3 to get 0 0.003 it is a 0 0.001 so just matter of um, 0 0.003 is equal to 3 n then divide both side by 3 so to be n is equal to 0 0.001 that is the answer. Question 25. We are to evaluate 3m bracket square minus 3m square, where m is 2. So you just do substitution. So it will be 3, 3, 2, 3 times 2, all square, minus 3 times 2 square. So 3 times 2 is 6. C square is 36. Then 4. 2 square is 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. So 36 times 4 is 24. Minus 12 is 24. So what you have to do is you have to do substitution. What is the value of x if 10 raised by x got 1000? So you have to now use indices change thousand into indices base 10 so 10x is equal to 10 raised power 3 why because 10 times 10 times 10 will give us thousand so now comparing the top x is equal to 3 then choose that one as your answer 27 we have to express 625.13 in standard form so let's start from here. We do one, two movement, and you move in this direction, meaning to be positive movement. So it to be this. Note that standard form is a number from one to nine times ten raised power any number. So we are changing six hundred twenty-five to a single number. So you move to the last number mm -hmm, times ten raised power two because you did two movement. That is what. We have to do good okay so question 28 what is the value of 7 in 24.372 so you see that this 378 378 this is uh thousandth uh, this is hundredth tenth then once why because after the point any number that you have you write it with th so we have 25.489 this one will be it will be 400 you get it so this seven is tenth this seven because it's 78 78 76 76 so it is tenth then shade it so if you go and meet something like 8.2489 then say what is the value of nine so it's, it is what thousands thousands mm -hmm. so that is what you have to do so any number after the point if you are writing the praise value it is it ends with th not thousand so it is not thousand that is thousand with th good so we have to find the highest common factor of 24 42 72 so what you can do is that you find the factors of all this or you use product of prime factor to find that a number which can divide 24 42 then 72 so if able to find that that will give you the factor of the 3 
So it's just very simple. Any number here within the answer to speed up your work. That you can use to divide 24, 42, then 72 is your uh, answer. So what can we do? So let's use the product of prime factor of it. So if you use that, it will also be a long way. So the answer is straight away 6. It's only 6 that can divide it. 4, no, 12 can also, it's only 6. Let's try it and see. So 24, product will be 2 times 12, then 2 times 6, then 2 times 3. So we get 2 raised power 3 times 3. Then come to 42. We do the same thing so yeah let's just move on then we have question 29 if p times q times r is 1197 and uh, p is equal to 19 q is equal to 3 find r so what you need to do is that multiply 3 by 19 so let's do that uh, 19 3 Three nine is twenty-seven. So it's seven remainder two. Three one three plus two it to be five. So what number can you multiply by fifty seven to get this? So let's start. Let's try twenty one. So fifty seven times twenty one. So we let's start one times seven is seven. One times five is five. 2 times this is 14, remember 1. 2 times 5 is 10. It's, it to give us 11. So let's add it. You get 7, 9, 1, 1. So you see the answer is there. So the answer is 21. The answer is 21. So we have question 30. How many integers are within the interval minus x is greater than minus 5? s is less than 7 so let's see to be minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 then you come to 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 6 so let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so you have 11 members so 11 numbers are within the interval good okay so let's continue from question 31 so question 31 the question is um divide 1.612 by 0.4 so this one, the answers are the same. They all contain 43, 43, 43, 43. So don't solve this question. Because of division, the number of decimal points for this is 3. This one is 2. So in division, we have to subtract because of indices. So when you subtract, you get one decimal point. So A is the only answer with one decimal point. So look at this. This is one point. 612. So it's having three decimal points. Then 0 0.4 is having one decimal point. So when you take the difference, you get uh you get two rather you get two. So you take the difference, you get two. So the one with two decimal point, you look at them. So question you look at A is 4.3 b is 4.03 then c is uh, 0.43 so the answer will be d rather will be d so always look at the decimal point 3 1 so there will be 2 it means after the answer there should be two numbers so this one and that the two should always have it then the answer is this one then question 32 
arrange the following in the ascending order in ascending order so arranging this let's find the SCM so we have 5 over 8 11 over 20 then we have 7 over 10 SCM will be 80 8 goes to 80 will be 10 10 times 5 is 15 20 goes to 80 will be 4 4 times 11 is 44 then 10 goes to 80 to be 8 so 8 times 7 will give us 56 so which one is the least is 44 which is 11 over 20 so 11 over 20 is less than 5 over 8 is less than 7 over 10 so let's see 11 over 20 5 over 8 then 7 over 10 so this is the answer so just learn how to do this so this one some of them will come to the BEC so learn how to do it and solve it that way you definitely will get the answer then question 33 you have to find the SCM of 5 10 and 12 so let's express 5 in terms of product of prime factors 5 times 1 finish then 10 will be 5 times 2 then 12 will be 2 square times 3 because 2 square is 4 so SCM we pick the numbers with the highest powers so let's start from 2 2 and 2 raised power 2 which one is the highest is 2 raised power 2 let's take the 5 5 and 5 so we take 5 3 is only 1 so you take 3 you take 5 so we pick the ones with the highest power so 2 2 and 2 square 2 square is the highest 3 is only 1 so you bring the 3 here then 5 is 2 here they are all 5 so you bring 5 here so the answer will be 2 square times 3 times 5 so that is C C is the answer good so let's move on C is the answer okay so 34 we have to um, write 48,000 uh, 947.25472 the nearest hundred so hundred is 947 so this 947 which hundred is it close to is it close to 800 or 900 so when you are going to 900 and coming back to 800 which one will you need more number to get to so then we need less so if you reduce it by 47 we come to 900 900 so if we reduce this by 47 we are at 900 then if we also reduce this by 47 by another one we come to 800 so definitely the nearest 100 will be 900 so the number will be 48,000 949 947.2547 it will be 48,900 it will be 48,900 uh -huh. because always you pick where the 100 is whatever they want you so let's say the 48,947 they said the nearest maybe 1000 it's 8,000 so it's 8,000 closer to 9,000 or 7,000 that's why how we do it so we look at it look at this one and because you need to come back from 47 it will be easier than going to what either maybe uh, 10,000 or 8,000 or, mm, so going to 900 is easier than going to 1000 or coming back to 800.
Then we have question 35. We have to simplify 16 plus uh, 5.6 plus 0.681. So let's add to be 1866. Mm -hmm. Then we have Okay, let's do it this way again. So it will be 16, 5.6, then we have 0 0.681. So you have to arrange it based on the terms. So here will give us 1866, uh, 6 plus, 5 is 11. Remember 1. Then to what? 2. So 21.6 is 8 1. 21.6 is 8 1. Okay, so you have to take it again. So to be 16. 5.6. Then we have. 0 0.681 so we have 1 8 6 6 11 2 so the answer will be B so we did not get it it's wrong here be 2 1 the answer is B so let's continue to so question 36 we have to evaluate a particular fraction and it is 4 over 5 minus 1 over 3 plus 2 over 9 so we find our SCM SCM of 5 3 and 9 to be 45 5 goes to 45 to be 9. 9 times 3 is what? 36. Then 3 goes to 45 is 15 times 1 is 15. Then 9 goes to this is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So we subtract the top. 36 minus 15 plus 10 will give us 31. So the answer will be 31 over 45. So let's check 31 over 45 is this that will be our answer for that one good okay so let's continue from question 37 we have to arrange this set of numbers from the least to the highest the least so the least will be negative 10 negative 7 negative for two nine so the, the higher the negative the least that number is so negative 10 negative 7 negative four two nine so a is the answer then question 38 we have to solve this question so this one you need to take your time and multiply then add the two results so to be 46 so 102 times 46 so let's do it to be uh 12 from that one zero to be one then we come here to be what six then four times this is eight this will be zero four times one is four so let's add two nine six four that is for this one then you come to this one one zero two times fifty four so four times two is eight zero here four five times two is ten zero remainder one this will give us zero uh then one so to here will be one then to be five so let's add eight zero five 
five. So we add these two the two results. Four six nine two plus five five zero eight. So we get ten from another one. Nine to be ten from another one. This will be eleven. Twelve from another one. And this will give us uh, nine plus one ten. So one zero two. 102 uh, to 102,000. So let's see 102,000. So this is the answer. Uh, so when you get a question like this, you have to take your time and uh, solve it. Good. So you have to take your time and solve it. Okay, so let's go to question 39. So we have to also to correct or convert this to two decimal places. So after the decimal point, we need two numbers. So it is three, four, because the next number is less than five. So it, it will be zero. So three, four. So that this is the answer straight away. So we have to simplify this one. So let's take five, five to one side. So five raised power two times five raised power two times 2, 2 times 2. So indices, you add the powers so to be 5 raised power 4 times 2 raised power 3. 5 raised power 4, 2 raised power 3, 5 raised power 4. This is the answer for 40. 41. So given that t is equal to p squared plus 1. And we have to find p when t is 10. So in place of t, put 10 there. So 10 is equal to p squared plus 1. So we now move the 1 to where the 10 is. So it will be 10 minus 1 is equal to p squared. So it will be to give us 9 is equal to p squared. So we have to express 9 so that it will be square. The only way is what 3 times 3 will give us 9. So 3 square means 3 raised to power 2 is equal to p square. So the square will cancel square, then p is equal to 3. So where is p is 3? Then we get the answer. Then 42, we have to express 1,352 as a product of prime factors. So we think of what can we do, or if possible, you can also do it. Uh, check the answer that will give you this result. So we have 1352. So 2 times what number will give us that? So you have to do long division with 2. So you do long division, you are going to get uh, you're going to get 6, 6, 7, 6. Then 2 times what to give you say 76. So 2 goes to 600 to be 300. 76 to be 38. So 338. So 2 times. Uh, 2 times. 338. Then 2 can go again. So 2 can go into 300, 150. You can go to 38 uh, how many times to be 19 uh -huh. so 169 169 so 2 times 169 so you see that 2 cannot go again so then you come back to 13 another prime factor is 13 so 13 will go into 169 what will be the results uh -huh. 169 go 13 goes to 169 you get 13 because 13 square is 169 so it's 13 times 13 so you cannot express this so it's how many twos there are three how many 13 there are two so two three 13 two square will be our answer
Okay, so we are on question 43. We have to express 10 over 32 in a decimal. So 10 over 32. So let's reduce it, this. 2 goes here to be 5. 2 to be 16. So let's do long division. 16 going into 5. So it cannot go. 16 times it to be 0. So let's subtract 5 minus 0 is 5. It cannot go again, so it adds 0. So 16 goes to uh, to 50 to be 3. 16 times 3 is 48. Then you subtract 50 minus 48 is 2. Then add another 0 to it. 16 go here to be 1. So let's check which one. So we see that the answer is here. You shouldn't continue again. It's 0.3125. So come and select our answer. Question 44. We are to arrange in descending order. So descending means from the highest to the lowest. So this one we can change it to percentage, to be, which is easier. 7 over 20 times 100. So 20 here, 1. 20 here, 5. So we get 35. I come to the next one 7 over 25 times 100 so 25 here 1 25 here 4 so we get 7 times 4 is 28 it's 28 then we come to the next one 37 over 100 times 100 we give us 37 the 1 over 4 times 100 4 here, 1, 4 here, 25. We give us 25. So which one is the highest? Let's see, 35, 28, 37. So 37 is the highest. So 37 over 100. Good. Then we come to 7 over 20. Then 1 over 4. This is not the answer. Then let's come here. 37 over 100. 7 over 20. 7 over 25, 1 over 4. So this a is the answer so you can use this or the scm method okay so let's now continue to question 45 so we have been given a particular fraction to solve so let's we have seven whole number 1 over 2 times this. So let's change the mixed fraction. So to be, we have 7 whole number 1 over 2 times 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 2 bracket close minus 1 over 4. So let's change this. So 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1, 15 over 2 times 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 so let's go 15 over 2 times so let's deal with the brackets so to be 1 over 4 times division when you change to multiplication to reciprocal 2 over 1 minus 1 over 4 so we get 15 over 2 times so let's cancel 2 here 1 2 here 2 to be 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 so board mass, board mass, board mass, multiplication first. So let's multiply 5 times, 15 times 1 is 15, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 over 4. It's having the same denominator, so pick 1, 4. So 15 minus 1 is uh, 14. So let's cancel. 2 here 7, 2 here 2. So it's 7 over 2 is the answer. So 7 over 2 is the answer. Then we take it. Good. Then we have been also given this question. We have to divide 64.5 by 0 0.015. 
in the standard form so this one it will have the same you just need the powers that need the uh, exponent to select so this one is having one decimal point three decimal point mm -hmm. one decimal point three decimal point let's change them to fashion you see how it is to be six four five over ten because of one decimal point times uh, divisions so divided by one five over one two three so because of this things that we have because the first number is one decimal point the second number is three decimal point and we subtract so when you subtract you see that we are going to get uh, the first one is one divided by the other one is three so we subtract we get minus two uh -huh. so you get a positive power so the answer is c you see it's a positive power if you like i can also solve it six four five over ten times reciprocal hundred over ten hundred over fifteen mm -hmm. so this will be ten here then you just divide you, you end up getting the same thing as your resource okay so let's continue to algebra